What's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to our channel Total Technology this is tutorial 65 and today's topic will be how to find all nodes from a specific path so I believe I have already uh, discussed about the path um, it, it is kind of uh, starting from a node and ending with another node in between uh, there could be multiple relationships so when you are having this sort of structure or pattern then you can all together um, say the whole pattern as a path so I'll be going to take this graph as an example. So let's say if I say that it starts with Ronnie and ends with Mark and there must be two relationship and the name of the relationship is nose. Then actually starts with Ronnie and ends with Mark is actually creating a path. Example, uh, if I say uh, it should starts with Ronnie and ends with any other nodes. Okay. And in between there must be one uh, nose relationship. So there are possibilities uh, that there could be two paths either uh, this one Ronnie to Rahul or either this one Ronnie to John okay but if I say there are possibilities that um, I need to find uh, uh, a path where actually it starts with Rahul and ends with Mark and uh, only one uh, uh, let's say only two relationship and that is no relationship so if you see here there is no such path because Rahul and Mark is connected with only one relationship there is no two relationships so our condition fails so this is kind of a path okay so we'll explain this thing using code here so let me go back to my cipher console so let me find if i have anything here okay so nothing is here actually so what I'll do, I'll try to create the structure. So how many things are there? Ronnie, Rahul, Mark and John. So let me create first four nodes. Okay. So create a why it is not coming employee and let's Ronnie. okay then Rahul then next one is from here Ronnie Rahul Mark and John I can do it using for loop but we'll discuss this later Mark and I believe the last one is John so let me check uh, what are the things are available okay so let me structure this thing so this is going to be like this okay uh, Ronnie there will be relationship between Ronnie to Rahul and Rahul to Mark so let me first create this thing this will be very simple okay so match in employee and name equals to Ronnie then here this is going to be P Rahul okay then another one would be PQ and this should be Ronnie Rahul Mark and another one will be npm let m and it should be john okay so if we find this thing then create the relationship so john so first m then this nose then the arrow and here it will be ronnie ronnie is n n and it should be Ronnie to John it is Ronnie to John so arrow will be from this to this direction so it will be like this okay so now Ronnie Ronnie knows Rahul okay so Rahul is P right so knows and like this this P then what happens Rahul knows mark okay so mark means Q so this knows this and mark is q 
done so if you run this thing it will create the this structure or pattern okay so let's run this thing it's created three relationship so if you see three one two three so let's validate everything cool so we got our structure see this is same here ronnie knows rahul rahul knows mark ronnie knows rahul rahul knows mark and ronnie as well knows john ronnie as well knows john okay so first part is completed so what i'll do i'll try to put this thing here for the code okay so if someone is looking for the code can easily follow this thing so i think i should make it a bit smaller mm, thing 12 is fine no this is not fine i think yes this is fine now okay that's it and i think another thing i need to consider here actually what i did so you need to create all employees like this okay so control c and here what will happen at the first place you have to write all this thing rahul then probably yes john then mark okay so everything is clear now so let me just move it to a bit smaller okay so this is a code for creating this graph and then the actual use case is find the part starts with node ronnie and ends with mark and between there must be two relationship so how to do that so the path should be like this path starts with ronnie so let's a employee okay starts with uh, ronnie and ends with mark so here b and another employee sorry and where a dot name equals to ronnie and b dot name equals to mark cause starts with ronnie and ends with mark okay so this is the condition and now this is this is the relationship name is in, uh, like uh, there is only one relationship and it is uh, kind of written and between there must be two relationship okay so how to write two relationship i have already discussed this thing like starts with one and ends with exactly two okay and after that we'll return how to return all nodes okay so nodes and nodes is a function or keyword whatever you say but it is better to say find the path find all the nodes nodes in the path starts with node only okay so this is the actual thing we want to find out all the nodes okay uh, how to find all nodes from a specific path find all nodes in the path starts with node ronnie and ends with mark and in between there must be two relationships so this is the thing now how to do that if you run this thing it will give you the answer Ooh, well something happened here return nodes path what it is saying okay uh, sorry i had i forgot to give match here okay see we got our answer right 
रॉनी स्टार्ट विथ रॉनी एंड विथ मार्क एंड देर मस्ट भी टू रिलेशनशिप एंड इफ यू गो टू दैट टेक्स फॉर्मेट यू विल गेट रॉनी राहुल मार्क सो दिस इज द थिंग विच वी आर एक्सपेक्टिंग एंड वी गॉट आवर आंसर ओके सो लेट मी अपडेट दिस थिंग हेयर ओके लेट मी अपडेट दिस थिंग हेयर ओके यूज केस यूजिंग न्यू फोर जे कंसोल एंड द सेम थिंग we will do the same thing from the python id okay so let me open our why my eclipse is not opening yes it's opening just give it some time okay yes it's coming so only 5 2 minutes uh, left in this video so we can quickly wrap up the things uh, so we are actually uh, trying to find all the nodes from a specific path so i have explained what is path for example this is a structure and i just said uh, from ronnie to mark is a path and in between there are two relationship and this is the use case and how to do it in the cipher console we know now we'll do the same thing from python so it came uh, so it is from the last video so now we'll write down the query so query is always the same only the python part is going to be different but we already explained this thing in our earlier so if i run this thing let's say uh, result equals to this and then print list result let's run this thing see what happens okay i again forgot to use this thing okay so see first thing this node came where name is roni then the next node is employee is rahul and the last node where employee and mark everything came so it is expected nothing fancy nothing rocket science behind this thing so i'll just quickly copy and paste this thing so well these things are very simple but this is very essential and important uh, small components of cipher whenever you are going to apply your graph algorithm in your future project or already were all, uh, started working in some of the projects definitely you need these things uh, to make your application more effective more intelligent with respect to time and other comp time complexity if you go ahead with the algorithm point of view i will say time and complexity the reason why you use graph this is the reason to create some sort of like better uh, uh, with respect to uh, execution time or performance uh, uh, to develop that sort of uh, um, what do you say the performance oriented thing is actually very much important whenever you are going to develop some sort of graph based application or applying some 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 of the already existing graph algorithm so and to achieve those thing you definitely want to use this uh, small components of cyber or the qr so that is i'm just creating this thing so it takes actually much time to come up with some sort of use case because if i go ahead and just go through the uh, usual uh, cyber documentation it is not going to help you so i'm just coming up with some sort of use case so that is why it is taking much time so enough of talking guys i hope uh, you guys are enjoying the series this is already 65 tutorial probably um, it will go until 100 or 120 i'm not sure but just uh, stay tuned with me i'll try to finish this uh, very soon and after that you can start working with our uh, what do you say the actual uh, machine learning topics okay that's it guys that's all for today hope to see in the next video till then take care goodbye and don't forget to subscribe our channel hit the like button and also hit the bell like icon to get the notification on timely manner or all the you demi subscription if you have any doubts question feedback complaint suggestion please feel free to write me via the message box i'll always available there i'll try to help you as and when required so once again have a good day take care and just 
keep watching our channel it is definitely supporting us okay over and out goodbye hope to see in the next video till then Oh, <laughs> oh,